Hello and welcome to another video on making home better. Today I want to go over Amazon's Blink camera and monitoring system. Specifically about how we have been able to achieve some automation that helps save unnecessary alerts yet keeps the cameras armed when in need. To achieve this, I have configured the system so that it's monitoring certain cameras all the time like our front door and other areas like our driveway and backyard where we get motion more often on a schedule to avoid wasting battery and unnecessary notifications. Hope this tip helps you in coming up with a Blink setup that works for your home. We initially purchased the first two Blink XT cameras as a kit in 2018. I did a good amount of research on the available solutions before settling on the Blink system. While it had many positives, the fact that it was fully wireless and had such a long battery life, as well as the fact that there is no subscription cost helped make the decision. For the most part, our experience with the Blink system has been positive with no major complaints. The kit contained two cameras and a sync module. We placed one of these on our main entryway. This is the entrance used by guests to the house as well as for the many deliveries from Amazon and other vendors. The second camera was placed indoor and usually not armed. This is only activated when we may be away from the house and want to check in for whatever reasons. Amazon claims a two-year battery life for the Blink cameras with the AA lithium-ion batteries and from our experience this is very much true. The front door camera battery needed replacing around the two-year mark and the indoor camera which does not turn on very often is still going strong. When the Blink X-T2 cameras were released, we decided to upgrade the front door camera to enable the two-way audio capabilities. To be perfectly honest, although I have tested out the feature, we have yet to actually use the two-way audio feature in a real-life use case. When purchasing the X-T2, we purchased a two-camera kit and placed a couple more cameras to monitor other parts of the house, specifically the driveway and our backyard. This turned out to be a challenge due to these areas getting a lot of motion on a given day and the cameras coming on very often. This impacts the battery life of course, but also generates a lot of unnecessary notifications on the phone. It's possible to enable and disable a camera from the app. For example, if you expect a lot of motion on the driveway because you're going to play basketball, you can disarm the specific camera. My trouble, however, was that I often forgot to arm the camera back when the game was over. This of course defeats the purpose of having a security camera. I looked at several options to solve this challenge. One of them being controlling it via IFTT which has some capabilities but didn't fully solve this challenge. We were finally able to achieve the automation to solve this problem by using the second sync module that came with our second set of Blink cameras. By assigning cameras to the two separate sync modules strategically you can enable and disable the cameras based on a schedule. In our case, we assigned the front door camera and the indoor camera to one of the sync modules. This one is not on a schedule and stays on 24 seven so that the front door can be monitored always. The indoor camera remains disarmed and this is only used manually. For the driveway and backyard cameras, we assigned that to the second sync module and placed it on a schedule. You can of course schedule this to your specific needs. In our case, these cameras become active at night and remain turned off during the day. With this setup, we have been able to avoid the unnecessary activations and notifications while still having monitoring when it's needed. We ran into this solution by coincidence because we happened to get a second sync module as part of the kit which was purchased as a deal from Amazon. You can however buy a separate sync module at a relatively low cost and would allow you to have a similar configuration. I will leave a link to this in the descriptions. In theory of course, this can be expanded with additional sync modules to achieve a more complicated zoned approach for your monitoring. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this tip helps you in your configuration and automation of the Blink cameras. If you find this to be helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel for more such videos and be sure to like and enable the notifications. As mentioned before, I will also leave a link to the complete system as well as the standalone sync modules in the description. Until next time, take care.